Sagis. Welcome to your weekly love reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is from today, August 5th to August 14th. So for everybody who's been with me for a while, I'm no longer doing pre-shuffle pre -shuffle sessions. My speech is a little off because my tongue is still swollen from biting it a couple nights ago. Um, but anyway, and all my newbies, you don't even know what it is, so don't worry about it. But I am still going over the meditative session that I do, and then I will go ahead and get into the reading. So, Saggies, I had some interesting visuals for you. They actually showed me a lot of, like, snippets from Castaway, the movie Castaway with Tom Hanks, for anybody who's seen it. And if you haven't seen it, you need to see it. That's, like, just iconic movie, very classic movie based on a true story, loosely, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but, Sag, I feel like with this energy, it's about your journey. Keeping in mind this energy I'm tapping into is energy in and around you. So it could pertain directly to you, something that you are experiencing or have experienced, or that could pertain to someone you're connected with, okay? So keep that in mind. But this long, brutal journey um, called life, there's definitely been a relationship that has come back into your, your awareness from your past, okay? And I definitely feel like it's from a long past. I don't think it's a recent relationship. I would argue that it's a relationship that was so formidable to who you are now and was so trying for you. Um, probably the hardest relationship you've ever had as far as any relationship or relationships are concerned. Family, friends, or love interests. But I mean, if you remember like Wilson, I don't want to ruin the movie for anybody who hasn't seen it, but it's like he had his little friend, Wilson, and it's like the latching on, that codependent I need you, I need this. He had to survive, but I mean, for you, Saj, I think this relationship, whatever it was, it was something that was toxic, it was something that was unhealthy, it was something that was a little codependent um, and very dysfunctional, but it served a big purpose in your life. And I think you're realizing that something's triggering this for you though. You could have, you know, been reminded of this person or God forbid they could have contacted you, I hope not. Because um, this definitely feels like a relationship that you just, it was hard. It was hard and it was painful for you. But if without that relationship, you wouldn't have the strength that you have now. And you know that, Sag. And if for whatever reason, you're just coming into acceptance about that. Okay? Um, also, like in the end of the movie, again, try not to ruin it. Try not to ruin it. Um, the scene with the whale. That's all I'm going to say because I don't want to ruin it. Um, that is such a divine moment, such a spiritual moment. And Sag, I feel like you're having one of those moments where it's, it's recognition about your own spirituality and your own power, your own power and your own capabilities of not only, not only being able to cope with the really awful ebb and flow of life, but also to do it with some grace, to do it with some grace, to do it with some tact. And it's like, wow, I've come such a long way. I've come a really long way, and as awful as that relationship was, thank God for it, because who knows who I'd be. You know, it's that kind of energy. I also feel an energy of, um, I actually heard conjure, which I did not really like to hear, but I heard conjure. I feel like it's manifestation energy, and to be honest, Hedge, I feel like someone's trying to man manifest you into their life. For some of you, it could be someone you know, or someone from your past that's like trying to like pull you back into, into their life, manifest you into their life. Um, I definitely don't feel like it's you doing that. I feel like it's someone trying to pull you in. But honestly, for a lot of you, this could also... <coughs> I thought my throat was a lot better. I guess not. <laughs> mm. oh, sorry, guys. Anyway, Sag, coming back to you. Whatever this conjuring manifestation energy is, for some, I do feel like it's a new person who they're not necessarily trying to manifest you specifically, but everything you embody and everything they want in their life. It, it feels very, it feels very spiritual, very yummy. It feels, it feels very uh, good. It just feels very positive. Whatever that is, that feels very positive for those where this is for a person who's trying to manifest things that you embody into their life, hence you are manifesting into someone else's life. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the reading. For anybody who has any questions, curiosities, or confusions on how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer, go ahead, check out the link below. Okay. And yes, this could be vice versa. It's energy. Energy is not linear. Um, also, this can apply at any time you come across it, even if it's months from now. Okay? All right. Any messages for my Saggies regarding love from now until August 14th? Any messages for my Saggies regarding love from now until August 14th? Any messages for my Saggies 
regarding love from now until August 14th. One more. That's really weird. Okay. <laughs> uh, what's that rabbit's name? It's a character from Alice in Wonderland. The rabbit with the clock. The white rabbit. The white, I guess they just call him the white rabbit. They just showed me the white rabbit. Uh, some of you might be going down the rabbit hole, Sag. Which for a Sag, that'd be very intriguing. <laughs> You'd be like, oh, an adventure? Okay. <laughs> I think some of you, that's definitely it. And also something about time. Divine timing. I think it's alluding to divine timing. Divine timing. But some of you definitely might be following someone on an adventure into the unknown. And you're kind of excited by it. You're excited by it. Any messages for my Saggies? Regarding love from now until August 14th. Let's see what we have here. Ooh. We have strength and reverse Leo energy. Have courage, Sag. Have courage is what I just heard. Have courage. Saggies, I find you don't normally struggle with that. But that's what my guides are telling me. Have courage. Have courage right now with whatever's coming. I think you're just going to be caught off guard. I think you're going to be presented with something or you're going to stumble across something or someone and you're going to be really caught off guard. I really hope this is not a blast from the past for you guys because I feel like for some of you it is. Whatever you're coming across, whatever is catching you off guard, have courage. It's positive, have courage. That's what my guys just told me. It's positive, have courage. Any other messages for my Saggies? Any other messages for my Saggies? Wow, Four of Swords. Oh, some of you might be going on a little retreat here. <coughs> Excuse me. Four of Swords is Libra energy. This is going to be healing for you. Whatever this is, whatever you're getting pulled into, have courage because it's going to be very healing for you. For some, you are being faced with that reminder of that past relationship. Oh, God. And I hate to do this to you guys, but I definitely feel that some of you are actually going to be confronted with this person uh, from this relationship that basically was very formidable to you. Have courage, Sag. It's going to be healing. New heights. It's going to take you to new heights. Oh, I'm feeling a lot of solar stuff going on right now, um, which makes sense with having courage. Why does this person make you so unnerved? Yeah, for some of you where this is the person that was about that formidable uh, relationship in your life, I'm also hearing formidable years as well. That could res resonate with some of you. There's something about it. It's not that it scares you. Well, no, I'm taking that back. I'm taking that back. I'm getting a lot of anxiety with this. It gives you anxiety. It's just whatever happened in the past with this person, it must have been pretty gnarly because it's almost like you're really terrified of encountering that kind of energy again or those kinds of experiences again. But have courage. It's going to be very healing for you. Okay. Also, like, keep in mind, especially with that castaway referencing, it's like by the end, he recovered, he, again, damn it, sorry, I'm ruining the movie, um, <laughs> recovered, he healed, it was very spiritual for him, he was a completely different person. Some of you are at the tail end of a journey like this. Ooh, see, look at that, look at that, Nine of Cups, Piscean Energy, wish fulfillment. See, okay, it is going to be very positive, Sag, this needs to happen. Whatever healing process you're going through or will be prompted with by encountering this person or being reminded of that time in your life and then you need to take some time to heal from it you could have an unexpected purge also regarding this um and for others you're at the tail end of a spiritual journey a spiritual expansion and doing the last little bit of healing and you need to have courage in this last moments if you're if you're in that situation because once you do that you're basically going to go to new heights and you're gonna have a wish fulfillment coming in okay all right Sag, i like it go down the rabbit hole Sag. <laughs> Any other messages for my Saggies regarding love? Any other messages for my Saggies regarding love from now until August 14th? Any other messages for my Saggies regarding love from now until August 14th? Oh my God, just a three card reading, Sag. Okay, overall energy, we do have Page of Wands in reverse, my bad news card. <laughs> my bad news card. Underneath that, we do have 
Five of Swords, Aquarian energy. Ooh. And then Lovers in Reverse, Gemini energy, my Divine Soul Connection cards. Whatever label you want to put on it. But essentially, this is a very divine union energy. Two of Cups is soulmate energy, as is this. But with this energy, there's divinity at play. There's spirituality at play. It's a whole other level up from just a typical soulmate, right? Something that's undeniable. Something that's undeniable. Yeah, you're getting bad news with this. I, I feel like this definitely, like I said, is a formidable relationship. It doesn't have to be the person. You could just be being reminded of it and being forced to deal with any remnant, uh, any leftover emotions. Any leftover emotions about it because it was very defeating. It was very defeating for you, Sag. It was a very tough uh, experience for you. Really hard for you to get over and you clearly have some healing left to do from it. So however you're being reminded of it, whether you're actually encountering this person, hearing from this person, coming across some something or someone that just reminds you of it, it was defeating. You're a little scared. There's some anxiety. You're also very defensive, right? Seven of Wands, Leo energy, but it's going to be healing for you. So have courage, Sag. Have courage. It's going to be healing and you're going to end in a wish fulfillment. Okay? All right. So let's go ahead and get into this a little bit more, especially I want to look at strength in reverse. Because Four of Swords, that's just your healing process. I'm not interested in that. I'm more interested in strength in reverse. I just heard introspection. You're going to be within a lot. In, this, in these final moments in facing this. Yeah, let's look at Strength in Reverse. Um, I'm gonna use Gilded Tarot to clarify. Tell me about Strength in Reverse for Sagittarius. Tell me about Strength in Reverse for Sagittarius regarding love from now until August 14th. Tell me about Strength in Reverse for Sagittarius regarding love from now until August 14th. Tell me about Strength in Reverse for Sagittarius regarding love from now until August 14th. One more. Okay. Tell me about Strength in Reverse for Saggies. Ooh. Eight of Wands in reverse, Sagittarian energy. Oh, <sighs> I'm getting major block here, Sag. A major block. Yeah, this is something that needs to be cleared out from your energy. Some of you have been carrying this around with you for a long, long time without you realizing it until you get this reminder, see this person, hear from this person. This is an energetic block of movement. You haven't been able to move as fast as you want to, Sag, um, or get close to the thing, to your wish fulfillment, whatever your wish fulfillment is. You haven't been able to get close because of this block. Also, if any of you are traveling, just expect some delays here. Have courage. They keep telling me that. I know it's like a broken record, but they keep telling me that. Tell me more about strength in reverse. Tell me more about strength in reverse. Yeah, Sad, you, you haven't even realized this has been keeping you from whatever it is you've really been desiring. Like, let's say you've been wanting that perfect relationship. Perfect. <laughs> no such thing as a perfect relationship. But you know what I mean. Perfect for you. Perfect for you. You haven't been able to have that sense. Like you've had relationships and maybe they've been a little bit better. But it's almost like they've always had a flavor of that relationship. Of that formidable relationship. Always a little bit of a flavor. Like, um, you know, if it were wings, it was always a little bit of barbecue flavor. Right? <laughs> you know, a little bit like that. Even if they were a different part of the bird or whatever. Different dipping sauces. I don't know. That's a weird metaphor. But you get what I, you know what I'm getting at. You know what I'm getting at, Sag. Yeah. You haven't been able to move past that little hump, and you haven't realized it until now. Two of Pentacles in reverse. Capricorn energy. Un yeah. Wow. Um, struggle. Struggle. What is this about balance? With making decisions, this is interesting. This block for a lot of you is regarding making decisions about relationships and people. Decisions about relationships and people. Like, let's say if you've been, been presented with, you know, a couple options at a time to each their own. You always kind of end up choosing the person you think is right, but ends up being just like this other person. Or again, a little bit of that same flavor of this other person. It's affected your decisions. In relationships and it's affected you getting that kind of relationship you've wanted or whatever your wish fulfillment is just using relationships as an example tell 
Flame of Strength in Reverse. Flame of Strength in Reverse. <laughs> Feeding time. Flame of Strength in Reverse for Sagittarius regarding love from now until August 14th. Flame of Strength in Reverse for Sagittarius regarding love from now until August 14th. All right, let's see what we have here. Ooh, we have Eight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. I like that. More Virgo energy with the Knight of Pentacles also could be Earth or Fire. Oh, and the Queen of Swords, Libra energy, also air and water. Overall energy for Strength in Reverse. Knight of Wands, Sagittarian energy could also be Aries or Leo. Underneath that, we do have Page of Wands. And then we have Five of Wands in Reverse, Leo energy. Yeah, Sag, some of you, this person is going to be showing up back in your life or hitting you up. Others, like I said, it's just a reminder. It's the reminder. Um, you can meet, it, this could actually just be through meeting someone else. Like you can meet someone and they could just set off a memory. And then it's like, damn, why can't I let go of this? Why can't I let go of this? And you fall down the rabbit hole. <laughs> Excuse me. For those where you're being confronted by this person, they're basically going to say that they, they want to clear the air with you. But these are a lot of wands. It's a lot of wands. And I do feel a bit of like lusty energy and sad you're not gonna that's oh that's what's giving you the anxiety that's what's giving you the anxiety i'm hearing some of your inner dialogues can they really think they can try this again what are they up to now that again that's not gonna be for all of you only those that are being confronted by the actual person as opposed to being reminded of the person Either way, it's basically time to let this go, Sag. It's time to let this go. It's time to deal with it. It's caused enough of a block for you in your life. For some, this block has been very long standing for years. Others, it's just been months. But I feel like for most of you, this is a really old relationship, okay? Really old. And with this energy of the Eight of Pentacles, oh, of the Eight of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. Eight of Pentacles and, Ni and Knight of Pentacles. I'm just getting a lot of growth with that, which is really nice. There's a lot of growth that can come in here for you, okay? It is gonna be a little slow. It's gonna take some time, but as long as you work on it and go within and start your healing process, you can do it. Queen of Swords, I feel like there's an energy you've been carrying regarding this issue and definitely regarding this person. You're not taking any bullshit from this person. You don't trust them. You might even overanalyze like every word they say for those who are actually confronting this person. And this is an energy of the past as well. When you were with this person, regardless of how you're being reminded of it um, or how you're basically being confronted by it. In the past, they basically proved that they were not trustworthy. So you analyzed everything, like analyzed everything they did, everything they said, everything they presented to you. What's the hidden motive? Yeah, it's like you never trusted them after like one major event. You never trusted them again, even if you stuck with them. You never really trusted them again. E. Yeah, it just led to more toxicity in the relationship. But you can have growth here, Sag. You can have growth if you work on it. If you work on it within yourself, okay? I'm not telling you to work with this person if you're being confronted with this person. I'm not telling you to do that. I'm telling you to face the issue, face the block that you've been carrying because of this relationship. Granted, like I said, even you're realizing I needed this kind of relationship to happen because it's made me the strong person that I, that I am and it's made me the evolved person that I am. I needed this to happen so I could basically be where I'm at today. You recognize that, but clearly there's still some little bits of crummy crumbs of healing that you still have to work through, okay? But once you do that and you recover and you clear out this energy, you get wish fulfillment. So let's go ahead and look at what your wish fulfillment is. Let's look at your reward, essentially. It's a reward. It's a reward for this work. Talk about Nine of Cups. Talk about Nine of Cups for Sagittarius. Regarding love from now until August 14th. Talking about Nine of Cups for Sagittarius regarding love from now until August 14th. Talking about Nine of Cups for Sagittarius. Actually, sorry, I was about to like shuffle, like deal out these, um, Jesus, I can't talk. I was about to deal out these cards and I was like, no, let's do Alice in Wonderland. So we have that little Alice in Wonderland reference. Let's do it. Talking about Nine of Cups for Sagittarius. Regarding love from now until August 14th. Tell me about Nine of Cups for Sagittarius. Regarding love from now until August 14th. 
Play with Nine of Cups for Sagittarius regarding love from now until August 14th. Okay, that feels good. Talking about Nine of Cups for Sagittarius regarding love from now until August 14th. Talking about Nine of Cups for Sagittarius. Talking about Nine of Cups for Sag. I just heard free. Free. You'll finally be free of whatever this little block is for you. King of Swords, Aquarian energy could also be Gemini or Libra. King of Pentacles, Taurian energy could also be Earth or Air. And then we have the Chariot, Cancerian energy. Sa Sag, excuse me, sorry, I ate before this. Um, Sag, for those who are in committed relationships, dealing with this little block that you have within yourself, if you're in a relationship, is really going to make your current relationship like soar. Soar to new heights, really take off, and become a lot more balanced, a lot healthier, a lot happier, okay, for those who are in committed relationships. Um, but again, for those where it's like, you just need to deal with this block, it's like, God damn it, like, this is why I haven't been able to have the relationship I've wanted, or this is why I haven't been able to have my wish fulfillment. Once you deal with this, like I said, for some of you, someone's trying to manifest you into their life, new or old, and it looks like that manifestation will be able to come through. Once this energy gets cleared out, Sag, the manifestation that you've been wanting, the wish fulfillment you've been wanting, the relationship you've been wanting is going to happen. Look at that. King of Swords and King of Pentacles could be dealt with Gemini. I usually get two court cards for Gemini's. Not necessarily, but you could be. Um, with the Chariot, Chariot is forward movement. It is also about commitment, okay? That's one of the energies that Chariot represents, Cancerian energy. Very much about home, hearth. King of Pentacles with King of Swords. That's someone who really is grounded, uh, really wants to provide. Very much a family-oriented kind of energy. But someone who's also very smart with that King of Swords and very communicative. Very communicative. Honest as well i'm getting honest yeah sag i love this clear this little block out even if you have to deal with this person face to face again most of you won't most of you will not have to deal with this person face to face oh i just heard for some of you this person's actually deceased yeah for most of you this is just going to be on your own kind of work through whatever reminder through whatever person you're meeting that's reminding you whatever you find that just reminds you of this person and for again for the few of you where you're actually confronting this person deal with it do it it's going to be so worth it. It might be hard because you need to have courage because you got a little anxiety about it, but it's going to lead to growth. It's going to lead to major, major growth for you and then major healing. And then once you do that, the relationship you want is going to come in. Your current relationship will, will reach a whole new level of healthy, all because this relationship basically was very formidable for you and just left you with a little bit of wounding that you still need to deal with, okay? But let's go ahead and keep going, see what else we got with the Nine of Cups, and then we'll pull some uh, advice. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. Tell me about the Nine of Cups for Sagittarius regarding love from now until August 14th. Tell me about Nine of Cups for Sagittarius regarding love from now until August 14th. Okay, so we just have one other card out here. Oh, how interesting. We have a Queen of Wands in reverse. Okay. Uh, Aries energy could also be fire or water. Hmm. This is interesting. Uh, I don't think this is a person. It feels like an energy. I actually just like a little like gross, like slimy ball of energy. That was weird. I've never seen anything like that before. It's like the fest it's yeah, it's like the remnants of the healing that you have to get get rid of. That block. This is basically representing the block that you have to get rid of. It's a block of anger. It's anger. Uh yeah, it's it's anger, it's rage, it's hate. I'm not saying you're this kind of person. I'm saying that this formidable relationship was so destructive to you that it basically helped you to build yourself into the great person that you are. However, it was very wounding. For some, it was even traumatic. And that left you with a little bit of ball of, of, of rage, a little bit of ball of anger. It doesn't come out often, but it's still there. And that's what's kept you from being in a much more healthy relationship or kept you from being in relationships that you thought would be conducive to you, kept you in relationships that had a little bit of that same flavor from this formidable relationship. It's this, it's this nasty little energy that you need to get rid of, okay? We all got something. I'm just telling you what it is and you will be triumphant over it with that cherry energy. Overall, we do have Page of Swords in reverse, which I think is really interesting. You never thought you could have this. 
you never thought you could have this. I think this has gone on for way too long, Sag, for some of you, and you got to the point where it's like, I guess I'm just not ever going to have that kind of relationship. I'm just never going to have that kind of wish fulfillment because you couldn't understand why you kept ending up in the same situations that had that same flavor of that formidable relationship or that person. And I think you just resided to yourself to being like, well, I guess that's just what I get. <laughs> I guess that's just what's in the cards for me. Not true, Sag, not true. Stop lying to yourself, not true. Not true, not true at all. Yeah, underneath that four of pentacles, you held on to this. A little part of you has been holding on to this little toxic ball of anger and rage from this person, whatever it is they did to you, and now you have the chance to finally purge that, to finally get rid of that, to finally grow from that, whether you actually confront this person face to face or not. And once you do that healing, the windows open for your wish fulfillment to come in. And for some, that's just improving your current relationship. Others, it's a whole new person trying to manifest you into their life. Um, yeah, it's it's beautiful. I love it. I really like it. Let's go ahead and get some advice for you, Sag. Sorry, I'm gonna get some water. <coughs> I really thought I was okay. I guess not. Mm. Mm. Okay, let's keep it going. Any advice for my Saggies regarding this spread? Any advice for my Saggies regarding this spread? Any advice for my Saggies regarding this spread? Any advice for my Saggies? regarding this spread? Any advice for my Saggies regarding this spread? <clears throat> Any advice? Ooh, okay, let's see what we got over here. Oh, I like it. This is like the perfect one. Learn from the past, elephant spirit, 25 breaking down to a seven. You have learned, you've grown, you, you've, you've evolved. You've evolved, Sag, you've grown. You're a lot wiser now because, again, because of this formidable relationship, and a lot of you recognize that. A lot of you have just accepted that at this point in time due to this confrontation or reminder, because, again, for some, it's just a reminder. Any other advice? You won't repeat the same mistake again, Sag. Some of you are like, I'm just never going to have this again I'm getting more of that I'm never gonna have this I'm never gonna have this because I keep holding on to what has happened to me I keep holding on to the fact that I just end up in relationships that have that same flavor Sag you can you can have it stop it with the negative self-talk the more you do that the more you're just gonna manifest the same okay stop lying to yourself any other advice for my Saggies regarding this spread Any other advice for my Saggies regarding this spread? Let's see here. Oh, nice. Armadillo spirit. Set healthy boundaries with the energy of three. I love this, Sag. Some of you, this is part of your lesson. Yeah, some of you, this is part of your lesson. Uh, letting people in a little too quickly. Letting people in a, in a little too quickly. I just heard bleeding heart. Bleeding heart. Having too much of a soft spot for people that you don't really quite know is also what I'm getting. It's a lesson. It's just a lesson you've learned. It's a lesson you've learned. For those that are getting confronted by this person, definitely watch your step. Get your closure and whatever you need to discuss, discuss it. But make sure that you don't let them get too close to you again, okay? If you don't want anything to do with them, which I'm pretty sure you don't, Sag. Pretty sure you don't. Any other advice for my, for my Saggies regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Saggies regarding this spread? Okay, last card. <laughs> oh, Spirit, Spirit, watch your words. 45 breaking down to a nine. I, it's so funny. Someone else got this card too, and I can't remember what sign it was. Was it another fire sign? Or was it an earth sign? I can't remember, but someone else had it. By all means, comment below. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is definitely about your communication. <coughs> Let me get some more water. Mm -mm. 
okay. Sag, this is definitely about your communication. I actually don't think you have to be that careful. For the, Again, this is for those who are getting confronted. These are those that are getting confronted. Oh, it's your temper. Okay, thank you. This is about triggers. This is about triggers. Recognizing that when you feel compelled to say that really blunt thing or say that thing that's a little cutting, say that thing that just wants to burst out of you, try to check yourself and try to recognize where that's coming from. Saji, some of you haven't realized that maybe sometimes you do, you're a little quick to snip back, snip back at someone when they address a certain issue, address a certain aspect of yourself, or even just a certain topic, because it reminds you of this person, okay? For some of you, that's where the reminder is gonna be. Start checking yourself, and I think it's gonna help you recognize where this little block lies specifically for you. For some, it's like in a subject matter. I don't know why that's about. Uh, for some, that's gonna resonate with you, but yeah, definitely for some, it's in a subject matter. Um, when you want to lash out like that, you might not even think you're lashing out, but when you want to, just blurt out that thing, eh, that little stab, that little eh, that little thing that just really wants to come out because it'll make you feel really good. Recognize where that's coming from because it's a trigger. It's a trigger from this wound from this person that left, that left you scarred, okay? Overall, we have Wombat Spirit be at home. Oh, I like this. I love this. This is 68. Uh, what does that bring to, break down to? A five. That breaks down to a five. So change. This is change for you because you're getting rid of a little nasty ball of, of something that doesn't serve you so that you can finally get that wish fulfillment to come in. There's no space for it right now until you deal with this. You have to keep growing to be that person who's ready for this wish fulfillment. Sometimes we want our wish fulfillment. We want, you know, all these different things, but we don't realize that we're actually not ready for it. And Sag, this is a case of that. Get ready for it by dealing with this person, dealing with the reminder of this person, dealing with this trigger, dealing with this trigger of yours, okay? And with Wombat Spirit Be At Home, this is basically being comfortable in your own skin, being cozy, being comfortable. Also, I'm getting that more of that boundary energy, being careful of how you give your energy to people and not being so eager to be there for people, not being so eager to allow people into your own energy field and into your life. I'm also getting very grounded energy with this and immovable, immovable energy. I'm getting Empress energy. Yeah, this is about your elevation. This is about your growth. This is about your growth. Getting to levels of comfort, comfortability, com comfort, comfortability. I can't say that word. Um, coziness with yourself. I'll just say coziness with yourself. Getting to new levels of coziness with yourself, your life, who you are, where you are, understanding fully, fully who you are and all of your past and how it's made you the person you are, because that's going to lead to major levels of confidence that you need for this manifestation, for this wish fulfillment. And for some, for this new person, okay? All right, Saggies, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Patreon, check that out, along with Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Have a great night, Sag. Namaste.